Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. Major League Baseball 2015 is here. We are doing uh, individual team previews, win totals, and right now we are talking with Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com, who's been doing this professionally for 30 years. So the guy knows a little bit about baseball, right? And uh, right now we're going to cover the Cincinnati Reds. Joe Duffy, thanks for being back with us. Thank you for having me, Mr. Loshak. I know a lot about baseball handicapping. Well, let's take a look at uh, the Cincinnati Reds right now. A little bit of an interesting team. The market seems to be a little bit down on them, right? Uh, last night, I checked the uh, the win total. It was 78.5 juice to the under. Checked it right before this call. Down a, down a game. 77.5 juice to the under. The, uh, the line I'm going to quote right now is from Bookmaker. 77.5. The over is plus 111. The under is minus 133. Last year they won 76 games, right? They were 76 and 86. Kind of an uninspiring, underwhelming year. They also weren't a very good bet. Minus 6.3% ROI, which is 23rd uh, best in baseball. But I'm wondering if the market isn't being a little bit hard on Cincinnati here. The lineup's probably going to be better than it was last year. I'm looking at the, the lineup up and down. There's some decent names in there. The rotation has some good arms in it, right? Cueto and, uh, and Leakey and, and Bailey in the starting rotation. The bullpen, you know, a few years ago it was awesome. Last year it was it was not very good, but, you know, the Chapman's still in there. They've still got some okay arms. Maybe it'll be a flop again. But maybe it'll improve. Uh, 77 and a half is just a low Total for wins, is the market being too hard on Cincinnati here? Can we maybe expect them to uh, play 500 ball? If we did just about any preview for any team in any single sport, we could say it's a matter of whether or not they stay healthy. But yeah, a little bit more important right. for Cincinnati, a team that had so you know their share of injuries last year. Brandon Phillips played in only 121 games. Joey Votto just 62. So the Reds uh, really were better than their statistics said last year as far as their offense is concerned because they had their share of injuries when it came to some key hitters. I do think their offense should be a little bit better. They were 13th in run scored just in the National League. 14th in on-base percentage. They're probably, talent-wise, more in the area of maybe the 8th or ninth best offense. So I do think their offense should be a little bit better. You know, after Cueto, their, their starting staff is a little shaky. You know, Mike Leakey, he's been around for a long time. And I know this... Uh, the Scalafani is, is a great young arm, and he's one of those guys that you could wind up developing into a surprise pitcher. Those people are into uh, rotisserie and fantasy baseball. Maybe he could be one of those steals. But uh, from a handicapping standpoint, I like to see guys do it at the major league level on a consistent basis. You mentioned Homer Bailey. Looks like he's going to miss a couple weeks at the beginning of the year, but I do think when it comes to over-unders, people overreact to short-term injuries. So I would probably lean towards saying the over. They'll be a little bit better than expected and probably a little bit more so on offense. So then maybe, is you think it's possible that the Reds might actually be a decent bet uh, in the opening months of the season because it feels like the market is down on them. You know, their, their win total is getting bet down. There, there are times when I actually think a team is going to be undervalued and then the odds makers say, look, you're not outsmarting us, that sometimes right, they'll right. have the odds. Of course. Uh, basically, if I think a team was going to be an underdog too often, they'll actually have that team as a favorite. But I do think that the Reds probably will be a pretty good play early on because I do think they'll sneak up on some people. And I've said time and time again, this is a little bit controversial, but I do think that the odds makers overplay pitching a little bit too much, and they might underestimate that the Reds are going to be at least improved offensively. Mm -hmm. I don't know, you know, with the case of Cueto, he's the one guy where the odds makers know he's good, whether or not you'll get good value with him. But once the Reds start to go deeper into the rotation, uh, because their offense might be a little bit better than people think. There might be some value with their number three and four starters. Sure. I mean, we, we have no idea what the actual lines for their games are going to be, but it's interesting to think about which teams might start out the season overvalued or undervalued. All right, Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com. It's 2015. You've been doing this for 30 years. Give a plug for your uh, website. Tell us what you're all about. Publicly since 1988, but as far as handicapping and betting for more than 30 years. And, yeah, baseball, it's a sport where a good part of the industry takes off. They tank it, but... Look, this is my full-time job. I bet the games. I live and breathe handicapping, so I am going balls of the wall all summer long. There's very few handicappers that can honestly say that. We pick mostly underdogs and small favorites that win. OffshoreInsiders.com. Balls to the wall for Major League Baseball 2015. Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com. Thanks so much. Thank you, Peter.